Hi, Soul Family. Thank you for tuning in. This is Latani with Saggy Soul with your weekly love reading. Okay, so this will be from August the 27th through September the 3rd. Um, I've already completed my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now I'm moving on to my air signs, um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay, so before I get started, let me just say thank you. Um, to all my new subscribers, I really appreciate all the messaging, you guys, all the comments, the likes, the dislikes. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, just thank you for taking the time and energy to look at the videos that I put out. I really appreciate it. Um, and if you need a personal reading, I can be reached at Latanya at SaggySoul.com. Okay. Uh, with that, since we're talking about love, let's separate love. I was thinking into four groups, right? My first group from 16 to 30, I call that my uh, mushy gushy love, right? Um, holding hands, kissing in public, <laughs> calling each other on the phone, staying up late on the phone, falling asleep on the phone, listening to each other breathe on the phone. You get it. Uh, my next group. My uh, 31 to about 46 group, um, my hard working group, right? Responsibilities, work, careers, children, pets, mortgages, rent, you know, projects, whatever you have going on. And by the end of the day, we're just too tired for love, right? Or too tired to date, but we still want love. <laughs> we still want love, right? So you're introverted, you don't really talk. The person you always meet is an extrovert. They talk too much. So what do you do? You pick a movie and you go and sit and look at a screen for two to three hours and you learn how not to communicate in your relationship. <laughs> All right, my next group, my 47 to 62 group, my adventurous group, my cruise group, my going on hiking group, my uh, vacation group, my let's go to a jazz club group, right? Because they love action, right? People action, right? People watching, <laughs> keeping your options open. <laughs> All right, and then my last group, my true love group, I call this my yummy gummy love, right? Over 63, you grab your cane, they grab their cane, you guys go walking around the neighborhood or walk into the park. You sit on the park bench, you talk to the squirrels. You might even read a book together. You feed the birds, you fall asleep. You realize it's time to catch that blue dinner plate special. <laughs> $5.99 with the drink included, right? Afterwards, you go home, you sit on your sofa together, you watch TV, you fall asleep at seven. You realize you need to take your wig off. They need to take their teeth out. <laughs> Yummy gummy love, right? The ultimate love, two cups, the lovers, ten of pinnacles. That's what we all want, right? Someone to grow old with. <laughs> you want that? Yes, you do. All right. So those are my categories for love. So I am currently on um, Libra for the week of love of August the 27th through September the 3rd. All right, I've already set my intentions. I've already done my prayer. So let's get into the pre-shuffle. Libra, I hope you guys are having a great week. August the 27th through September the 3rd. Can't believe the weekend, well not the weekend, but the holiday is already coming up next week and I hope you guys are enjoying the last few weeks of summer Libra <clears throat> August the 27th through September the 3rd August the 27th one more
Libra. Your focus is on the King of Coins. With the Nine of Cups. Trying to make sure you can see this. And the Strength card. And, wow, and the Star. Two major arcanas back to back. Along with the Three of Cups. Okay, Libra. The Nine of Swords. And the King of Cups. Bring you down so you can see what I see. Libra, your focus is on the king of coins. Okay. Possibly a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Let's go through. You also have the Knight of Cups. Possibly a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You also have the Strength card, Leo energy, Major Arcana. Needing the strength for a situation. Libra, you also have the Star card. Major Arcana, Aquarius Energy, Hoping, Wishing, hmm. Libra, you also have the Three of Cups, possible third party situation you also have the nine of swords and you also have the king of cups Hmm. So Li Libra, we have two kings and a knight of cups on this board. Let's see. Looks like pretty much every sign is here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We see a Leo. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra.
Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Hmm. So, Libra. Looks like you're leaning on strength for something. You're weary. You're tired. You even looked a little bruised. The issues and the emotional situation you might have been dealing with. But you're up late at night. You're in your head. Can't focus. Can't sleep. Thinking about perhaps a relationship. Or a situationship. <laughs> Because Libra, that this King of Pentacles, a person of wealth, stature, businessman, CEO, manager, bank manager, well known able to get things done type of person who knows how to obtain wealth and how to charm people Libra did this king or it could be a queen right it's just the pictures but it's really energy put you in a third party situation are you a option or Libra is this you the king of coins and you have lots of options The King of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. This King. is full of compassion and love, but they don't wear their heart in their sleeve. Father figure, this is the kind of show up and be present type of king. Yes, they have wealth, but they don't have to show it or flaunt it. They know who they are. And they know all the life lessons they've been through to get them to this point. Hmm. Libra. Could you be dealing with this King of Cups?
is this perhaps your third party situation? but you're in your head about it. Trying to rely on strength in regards to this. But you want the ultimate wish fulfillment with this person. Or maybe this is what this person wants with you And they're bringing in their cup of love. Now they don't know if you're going to accept this. Things are a bit hazy. They're a bit foggy, not knowing what to say, how to present this to you. Hmm. King wants to offer you a cup of love. I remember it's just the pictures on the card. It's just energy. So it could also be a female. Right? A cup of love. And this is their fulfillment. Libra, maybe this is your wish fulfillment also. Hmm. Something that you've been hoping for. I don't see the magician here, but Maybe even manifesting. So either offer is coming in from this king. Or Libra. An offer is going out from you to this king. But there's entanglements because you're in your head about something and you're needing to have the strength. So this tells me this is a third party situation. There's pain and anxiety here. What will you do? What will you do? Libra, this is your love reading from August the 27th through September the 3rd. Please subscribe, like, share, and of course, comment. Libra, let's get some cards of inspiration. I begin my day with love. Why not? This King of Cups is here with the offer of love. Invitation, a relationship. I begin my day with love. You've been thinking about it. 
because you've been in your head about it. I welcome abundance and I will pay attention to the guidance I receive. All right. Libra, that third eye is open. You know what you want. Look at the stars, a wish, possible manifestation of something. I welcome abundance and I will pay attention to the guidance I receive. Going within to your intuition, right? Okay, thank you Libra. Thank you guys for tuning in to Saggy Soul. See you soul family.